guys, welcome to another Fresh Iron video and we're gonna talk cardiac nursing basics. So here's our heart. There's a few big picture things I want you to have differentiated in your brain before you dive into all the cardiac nurse stuff. So there's various issues that could be going on with the heart. Your patient may have one, two, three, or all of them, but it's important to know where the impairment is. Um, that way, you know, you just understand it better. So you can have an issue um, with the heart um, structures, like the, the, the valves, or maybe the heart muscle itself, okay? So we also got a valve there, or, you know, valve there. So you could have an issue with blood going into the heart from, you know, your superior superior or inferior vena cava and then you know coming up here into that right atrium and the whole pathway of blood through the heart you could have an issue with that right um, and then out through the aorta could have a problem with that could also have a problem though with the electrical conductivity of the heart so you know that's your ekg tracing that you know okay there are electrical impulses that go throughout the heart to make it contract starts up in the sa node um, and goes all the way through to the projunctive fibers which cause the uh, ventricles to contract so, so that whole path electrical pathway you could have an issue with that electrical pathway or you could even have an issue so on so this is like the outside of the heart and you see all of the blood vessels on top of the heart so when you can differentiate is this an issue with these blood vessels on top of the heart or is it with the big blood vessels supplying the actual blood to pump through the heart there's a big differentiation in your brain of what's going on so like you know when someone is having a heart attack they're having one of these um blood vessels on the heart supplying the heart muscle itself is blocked and needs to be either opened up with some stents or maybe even a whole bypass. Um, but that's very different than someone having, you know, an issue with their heart valve on the inside of the heart or one of these major vessels um, out, you know, supplying the heart. And then also the electrical side of things as well. So you could have a patient who, you know, maybe they had a, a cardiac event where they had an MI, a myocardial infarction, and then that itself caused electrical issues as well. Or you may find patients who have valve issues that irritate the muscle so much we get some electrical issues as well. Um, but usually those are the main areas where you're going to find issues as that cardiac bedside nurse. So know where the issue is um, because that's really going to help it make sense in your brain, enable you to anticipate complications and issues easier, and also to communicate with loved ones about it too. Um, you as that cardiac nurse, you do have a lot of power at your hands, okay? When you're taking care of that cardiac patient, you know, the physician will say, here's all the blood pressure, heart rate parameters I have, meaning I need their blood pressure to be, you know, between this number and this number, their heart and heart rate less than this. And they give you a parameter. And it's you as that nurse who's at the bedside taking care of the patient all day to know, continually ask yourself, is this medication appropriate? Do I need to call and ask if it's okay to, if they don't, if they shouldn't have it? Um, and you're making those decisions based off of the assessment and their vital signs, okay? So it's this constantly um, reevaluating, you know, whether or not your interventions are appropriate. Because just because they're ordered doesn't mean you have to do them. Um, they say, hey, notify the physician if the heart rate's greater than this and it doesn't work after you gave this medication. You have to know when to give that medication that kind of stuff. So you do have a lot of power in your hands as a cardiac nurse. Another tip that I do have is, you know, cardiac is very complex. And, you know, when you start getting into 12 lead EKGs and different kinds of murmurs, it gets really confusing. But if you're a brand new cardiac nurse, don't get tripped up in those um, very complex details. Get your foundational baseline stuff first. Like I want you to know normal sinus, sinus tag, uh, sinus, brady, afib, before you start diving into different kinds of blocks and what that could mean and all that kind of stuff. Like, get the basics first and make sure you understand that. Um, and the same thing with the heart sounds. Like, I want you to be able to know 
first know the difference between normal and abnormal, okay? So this is what normal heart sounds like. I've got the lub dub, the S1, S2. I can hear the clear, you know, contraction of the heart, um, or sorry, the hear the. I can hear the clear um, closing of the valves. Versus, oh wow, I hear three heart sounds, or I hear a whoosh in between. Ooh, now that's a murmur. You all need to know what kind of murmur and all what that could mean and have all that memorized and ready to regurgitate. No, I just need you to know that, wait, that is not how a normal heart sounds, okay? Um, and it's not something you're going to immediately communicate to that patient in that moment, but you're going to listen and say, okay, wait, that's not actually what a typical normal S1, S2 lub dub sounds like, right? So, because uh, I got, when I started in cardiac, I was immediately overwhelmed because I didn't, I, I thought I to be a cardiac nurse, I had to be able to interpret 12 lead EKGs immediately. Um, and that just simply wasn't the case. If I had a patient that had a cardiac change, I called the physician, they ordered a 12 lead and they interpreted it and told me what to do. Um, it wasn't like, oh, I'm noticing a change, I have to get that 12 lead EKG, I have to interpret it with impeccable accuracy, call the provider and give them this like treatment plan. No, that's not a responsibility to diagnose. It is not. It's our responsibility to assess and be their eyes and ears when the physician's not there and then get facilitate those kinds of things like an EKG and let the physician know, hey, it's, it's ready, take a look at it or whatever it might be. So not to say we don't have to learn those skills or don't want to learn those skills, but if you are using that as your measuring tool of if you're a successful cardiac nurse or not, I encourage you not to do that. Um, get your basics down. Understand, you know, the basics of that EKG, the basics of listening to heart sounds, and, and not fixate on these incredibly complex things. Like, to be honest, so I've been a nurse since 2010. I got my critical care certification in 2015. And when I got that in 2015, and I studied for that exam, that's when I figured out how to really understand um, EK 12 lead EKGs and which ones, like, okay, so if I had ST elevation and leads one and leads two, um, this is what that could mean. And that was five years into my career. That was two years of cardiac um, and cardiac step down. And then two years, three years of neuro ICU. I just had this assumption that I was always below par because I didn't understand that stuff. But really, to expect a brand new nurse to do that with impeccable accuracy is just not appropriate learning curve, right? We need to get the understand the foundation of that and be able to effectively communicate with providers and assess appropriately and then do whatever interventions they had, not think we're this failure if we don't understand the complexities of stuff that people study for a very long time to get to that level. So I hope that helps put some cardiac nurse basics together. Um, you definitely want to pay attention to things like their labs, um, their vitals, um, and understanding again, is this electrical? Is this structural? Um, is this the, the blood vessel supplying the heart muscle itself? Or is this the major um, structures within the heart, like the valves um, or the major blood vessels to and from the heart? So hope that helps. If you'd like some more cardiac resources, I'll have them linked below, including my Cardiac Nurse Crash Course, which has all things for anyone new to the world of cardiac. We walk you through everything um, for anyone who's working in a cardiac um, unit to an emergency department to even cardiac ICU. So the information for that is in the description of this video if you wanna check it out. Thanks nurses, stay fresh.